Are you sad and no one wants to acknowledge why? Maybe even yourself? Well, don't worry. You might have clinical depression. And we've got just the cure. Shock treatment. I know what you're thinking. Do they still do that? Well, thousands of protesting former patients of ours have your answer. ECT is shock treatment. Yes, they still do that. I know what you're thinking. Don't worry. We not only give you drugs to put you on conscious, we give you drugs to paralyze you. You won't feel or remember a thing. No more broken bones and teeth like the old days before we changed the name to electroconvulsive therapy. You won't be able to do much but wiggle your toes as we run enough electricity through your brain to give you a grand mal seizure. I know what you're thinking. Don't worry. The electric current is nothing like what's in the outlet at home. That's only a 120 volt sine wave. ECT gives you up to 450 volts pulse wave. We even monitor your heart in case we need to defibrillate you. I know what you're thinking. Don't worry. Your brain can sustain far more damage than your heart. Besides, an ECT machine delivers one-third to one-quarter of the electric energy in charge of the defibrillator machine used on the heart. But unlike the defibrillator, we don't just give you one, two, maybe three zaps. We hit you from 10 to over 900 times. In that half a second to nine seconds, we deliver these bursts of energy. The ECT is the gold standard for depression and suicide. A doctor would be derelict in his duties if he didn't cause this burst. Just like what happened to Pulitzer Prize winner Ernest Hemingway, we don't acknowledge anything bad about ECT whatsoever. The onus is on you. We detail the FDA. There are no long-term side effects to ECT. So then we comply with your doctor when he says ECT is right for you.